Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Axel Grave and I am back with more reactions with an X this time for some Tokyo Revengers and I am having a good time. Things are going well here. I think things are going uh, pretty much in the direction I expect for this kind of thing where it's... But that's just, like I said, how wild these get so I really enjoyed last time when he kind of just lets loose and said fuck this and they just kind of brawl out. So I want to see how it goes. I don't necessarily want Mikey to kill this guy because I don't think that's what Mikey wants to do. I, I think he's obviously still holding a grudge, but it seems like doing this and then obviously, I mean, obviously he does it, we learned in the last episode, because of the death of Baji being killed by Kazutora. I say bad death, but I guess you should say murder. But I, I don't, uh, like, they're on the same side too, so it's weird for me. I have no clue what's going to go on there to like strike that into existence. Unless, obviously, we get the whole Baji is a secret undercover. I don't know. There's a whole lot going on, and I love how much is going on story-wise with this, in addition to, like, the gang culture they're representing, which I have to, like, be careful, because gang culture in Japan is obviously going to be pretty different than gang culture in America, right? So I can't, like, judge all of them. And that's what I'm saying, is, like, I'm not saying oh this is how Japanese I'm saying this is how like gangs I've seen and heard about interact right like the there are obviously gonna be different types of interactions throughout the world so uh, if things are done differently where you are I'm just tell like I said I'm just telling you how it's done around here and in a lot of the other places I've visited heard of where my family's at so they tell me uh, and I'm, I'm just so interested to see how they further develop the story with the time travel as well. Like I said, there's so many interesting components to this in addition to it just being a time travel flick. Uh, I'm already way over my intro time, so as always, remember to support the original content creators. Check them out on Crunchyroll, read the manga if you're a manga reader. And, you know, just show them some love because they've made a really fun and interesting story that is compelling, in my opinion and deserves a lot of support so we gotta give them that support if we want to get another season and want to get more episodes and yeah also i think one of my friends just started watching this so i finally have someone to like kind of talk to it about uh besides you guys of course if you want to come chat in discord always feel free to with that said we're gonna go ahead and start up episode i believe 19 is it 19 episode 19 turn around hmm They just restarted the yell clip right there. That was funny. Ooh. Uh-oh. Bonk. Oof. I love, too, that they mix it, right? They're not always just boxing, right? Like, shit goes to the ground. Uh, they also had it in the other fight where you were getting attacked by multiple people and things like this, right? Like, you just get hit from the back, get hit in the back of the head. <laughs> All right, that was like that was like a much more action anime shown in block there where he just doesn't flinch. That was pretty awesome. See what I mean? That's exactly what I'm talking about. They do such a good job. And then there's this mentally unstable person. <laughs> To be fair, even there, he's, he didn't say, like, I'm going to kill you. He just said, I'm not going to hold back. So he really got to get his head in the game. Ooh! Those aren't even his, his intended targets. He just needs to keep Baji alive, right? Well, that might not necessarily stop it. Hey! Help from his, uh, technically his leader, right? Isn't he under this guy's command? I can't remember if it's this guy or the other guy. No, it's him, right? <laughs> I love that their nickname for him is just, like... Michi. There we go. Paying attention. Good job, man. Also, the, the yell was bad giveaway. Yes. Not dying is basically always number one. At least most of the time. Oh, hey, it's this guy. Hey, he's got his back. That's a nice help. Damn, he's down an eye. That is a rough thing to fight with. 
There you go. Yes, it hurts, man. It hurts your fist, too. They're not showing him for it, but this guy is not trained. That would hurt to punch someone as hard as you can. And you, if you don't know how to punch, you usually, like, break a hand, or not a hand, a, a finger or something, sometimes a knuckle. All right, come on, Hanma. You seem to like punishment. Oh, double teamed. Oh, he's getting quadruple teamed. Uh, it was a quintuple at the end there that another dude started running up. Actually, I think they just keep coming like gnats. Oof. That's a two-on-one advantage, man. I'm glad they're explaining this. Just keep trying, man. So this is how they lose this one, Riff. But yeah, numbers advantage can do a lot in a, in a fight. Especially when there's no real strategy, kind of like here. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, say that behind the two dudes in front of you. This is not gonna be an easy fight. Damn, they didn't even take a couple of them out? Uh, we probably just aren't seeing. Oh god, he's still... <laughs> he's doing the whirlwind fist! Is he gonna inspire the other guys to get up off their asses? Just they can't be like, I can't be... Good job, man. Like, I don't expect him to win fights. That's not what I'm expecting of this guy. He has no. I do expect him to go and hit the gym and start learning to fight at some point, maybe. <laughs> well, he's got the spirit, man. Oh, there he goes. There they go. Yeah, they can say. Hey, that means he can let loose. I like his, like, whatever it is strapped around him that I have no clue. Is it like a backpack that you can just wrap shit around? I have no idea. There we go. <laughs> Did he just punch two guys at once there? He does look a little tired. Damn! Did you see his arm bend back there? I don't think he really broke it, but just the way they animated it was really cool. He's a big dude, too. Oh man, it is cool to see this on the junker. Don't get up there, you idiot. You can kill us all. Those cars are never unstable. Oh yeah, he doesn't care. He's crazy. Nice catch of himself. Oh, so he's got two, and one of them looks to be one of the maybe captains. <coughs> Says the guy running away. I don't know how Juvie is there, but if it's anywhere like here, those guys probably are some pretty uh, mean mother... <laughs> He's like, bitch. Dang! He crushed the front of the car. Oh, oh, now they're scared. I love that it was one, one second in, basically, and he was like, back up, bitch. Ooh, he's got a longer reach. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. That is an impressive uh, kick from that position. Be real tough to do. Oh, hey. You got surprised. I knew a weapon was coming. I told you, this, these things have no real rules. They'd bring weapons, all kinds of shit. Ow. 
So he's a kick-based fighter mostly, and his punches are not. <laughs> this is really a two-on-one. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, I knew that was coming. The thing is, I feel like those are always understated because a real, yeah, a real hit from one of those, like we saw with his brother, could kill somebody. Ooh, he's out too. Why? There's way more people just because you didn't want a commander fight. That's not how these work. This is to the last man, bro. The, the, this you could have to fight until every single person was dead, honestly. That, that could be the outcome of some of these kinds of fights. If you wanted to keep it commander commander, that's when you did the other thing. Well, we didn't see their intro. A little, little weird. Yeah, kinda, maybe. Yeah, yeah he's all fucked up. <laughs> really? Cray cray? They put cray cray? How do I know he's just going to use them as leverage to throw a kick? Oh, wow. Like I said, it wouldn't take more than a couple hits with that thing to kill somebody. I mean, really tear him up. So then this is where Baji comes to stop him, I'm guessing? Like I said, uh, this, this is the only one that they get me with. If you hit someone six times with a pole like that at full force, they'd be dead. Then again, this is the the badass of the series. Yeah, I was like, I was waiting for him to do this. He's going to fall. Oh, wow. That's impressive. I don't even think it's really possible, but that is impressive. Holy fuck. And then he just stomps on his head real quick. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We're not supposed to kill him, right? <sighs> not supposed to. That was a really cool episode. That went, that flew by, honestly. I, I barely noticed time passing while we were watching. It was so good. Uh, as always, guys, it's been, it's a really interesting run. With the exception of the, like I said, getting hit eight times in the head with a pipe and being all right i mean uh if if you want to know how something like that goes just go w watch the walking dead episode with negan have fun uh because that's what happens uh after a couple pretty good hits with anything that size i mean it is and it, it's it doesn't even require like you be barry bonds or anything dude it really does not those you know uh, human bone cracks anywhere between like 12 or 20 pounds of pressure or some shit. I don't know, man. It's that's the only thing though. Everything else is. I love how accurate they are to it, right? Being attacked multiple times by multiple fighters, weapons being used. Uh, the running away thing is a little, but I've seen it done. But like I said, I, I just love how much. Once again, they go into the the more sometimes grittiness of it right even earlier in the series where they're covering the dark stuff like you know rape and other things when they're talking about uh Pachin's girlfriend or i can't remember exactly who or what happened there again i just just the names and stuff not what happened i do remember what happened with her being in the hospital having said that i i like this episode because it is such a fun like fighting episode and it's action-packed and it really was so cool to see them go at it and see all these like very well done things but as far as like story progression this is actually a filler episode because there's not much going on with a couple exceptions of like Kazutora's short intro into his backstory of his father being abusive it looked like and other things like that there doesn't seem to be a whole ton of uh like story progression here right this is about the fight and moving into the next part of the story where it's like does mikey choose to kill kazutora for 
whatever reason. Although, he just fucked him up real good. That kick was so crazy. I almost want to go back and watch it again. Um, but tell me what you guys think. As always, I'm interested to hear what you think and why you think it. Because that's important, believe it or not. And, uh, yeah, if you wanted to talk with us, you can always comment down below, chat with us on Discord. Or, you know, if you really feel like you come become a patron for as low as a dollar a month and get early access to these with full video and audio no cuts and all that great stuff and of course i answer patreon comments first 